everyone. This is just a short video to show you how you can graph on Desmos if you want to use this, <clears throat> excuse me, as a your means for creating a graph in the Flipgrid assignment. So really simple, if I want to make a triangle, I need three points and I'm going to have to reference the points later, so I want to give them a name. So I'm going to start with point S and then I really just put S equals whatever I want to name the point and then put in your ordered pair, one, one. Okay, I can change, uh, well, I'm actually I'm going to do that later. I can turn on the label for this. The automatic label is to put the ordered pair, or if I want to label it something else, I can type it in next to it. So I need three points. going to go make another one, call this one T, um, five, six. I'm just making up numbers, add my label, and then last one, U. negative two, negative one. <clears throat> uh, I guess that doesn't look quite right. I'm going to change that. Negative two, four. Want it to, that was a triangle, but don't want it to look so much like they're kind of in a straight line. And <clears throat> there we have it. So now if I want to make it into a triangle itself, I type the word polygon. And then in parentheses, I'm going to reference the three letters with commas and no spaces. So S, T, U, and then it creates the triangle for me. Now I can go into my settings and I can change these colors. So, you know, if I want all my points to be black, I can do that. I can keep my triangle purple, make it a different color. Oops. And there you have it. That's how you can graph on Desmos. I could then go and export a picture of this by clicking on share graph and then export image. Pick my size and then I can download it, the image and this can be what you use for your Flipgrid assignment. So hope that helps.